Hi, my name is Skip Vaccarello. I'm a businessman. I've worked in Silicon Valley for the past 36 years and also an author uh, of a book called Finding God in Silicon Valley and a blog by the same name. Well, today I'm going to talk to you about rekindling faith in the workplace. That is how to witness in the workplace. And I'll offer some suggestions, things that I find useful that you may as well. So first, let me start with two Bible verses that I have found helpful to me. The first verse is from Colossians 3, 23. And that verse reads, Whatever you do, work at it with your whole heart as working for the Lord, not for men. The second verse comes from 1 Peter 3, 15. And that verse reads, Always be prepared to give an answer to everyone who asks the reason for the hope you have, and do so with gentleness and respect. So those few, two verses have been helpful to me. Well, let me tell you a story. Uh, in the early 80s, I was working as the vice president of operations at a Silicon Valley software company. I hired an individual by the name of Dick to be my facilities manager. Dick and I were very different people. He was all action, can do, get things done. I tended to be a little bit more diplomatic, but we both were very successful in the jobs that we were performing. Well, we became good friends. I were helpful to each other in making that company a success. And as time went on, when I left that company and he did, I would hire Dick as a contractor when I was CEO of another company and CEO of a company after that. And we developed a friendship over the years. I learned early on that he was not a follower of Christ. Uh, he believed in God but wasn't sure about Jesus. We had some conversations about faith along the way and I would invite him to events at which there would be a speaker, typically a Silicon Valley executive who would talk about his or her business and then give their faith testimony. And Dick always found those conversations fascinating. And he and I would have conversations about faith often related to what those individuals had to say. Well, I got a call from Dick one day, and he said I was one of the first people that he had called uh, to let me know that he had cancer. And the conversations got deeper at that from that point forward, talking about faith. And as his cancer got worse over the next year, year and a half, it looked like the end was coming near. I visited him one day in the hospital. We had a wonderful conversation at great depth about faith. I came back the next day, and I asked him, I said, Dick, are you ready? now to accept Christ as your Savior. And his words were precious. He said, yes, I think I am. What that said to me was, yes, he was ready to take that step of faith, but still had some questions, some doubts, but was willing to take that step. So I prayed with him to accept Christ and, and also told him that after he did it, that there was a great celebration in heaven because he came to faith and he smiled. And that was the last I saw Dick because two days later, he passed away. And I was asked to give the eulogy at his memorial service, which was also a wonderful opportunity to witness. So let me give you some suggestions, some things that came out of that story and things that I've experienced over the, over the years. So the first is to be the best employee you can be. Dick, both Dick and I worked hard at our job. And in every job I had since then, I would try to be the best I could be. And that draws people to you and they'll ask, what's, what's different about you? So that's a wonderful way to, to begin to witness uh, to people about faith. The second, if you, as you noticed, I invested a considerable amount of time and I was proactive. Dick came into my life. I was proactive in making a friend of his and certainly didn't dismiss him. In fact, I was interested that he was uh, not yet a believer. We developed a friendship over those years, but I had to invest time. So I had to set other things aside. Uh, to be with Dick, but I was, it was, I loved ha having that opportunity. Uh, I also noticed that this happened over a period of time. It was around 20 years from my first meeting with Dick until he, he came to faith. So that was a considerable length of time. And of course it wasn't, and I realized along the way, it wasn't up to me. My job was simply to be a witness. God is the one who brings people to faith. So that takes some of the pressure off. We're just there to be, to be witnesses. And finally, I'd say to pray. I would pray about Dick uh, before every time before I would meet him. And I prayed certainly along the way when he, had, when he had cancer. And to this day, I continue to have a list of people that I pray about and pray about pe people coming into my life that God may present other people who I could be proactive with, become friends with, and talk to about faith.
Well, thank you very much.